I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. I am here in the sunshine back in Toronto and I thought I would just have a little sit down chat with you guys because a lot obviously <laughs> has happened in the last couple of months. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you probably already know that my flight got canceled and it is a little bit heartbreaking not only because I was supposed to be traveling literally in two weeks from now I was supposed to leave May 31st but the other thing <laughs> that makes me almost more sad is that I had found such a good ticket for such a good price I had been planning this epic eight month journey where basically I'd be flying uh, from Toronto to Estonia and then eight months later I was going to fly out of Bangkok back to Toronto right before my birthday uh, January 31st time and I paid 1,127 Canadian <laughs> dollars for that ticket. I was expecting it to be so much more than that so I bought that ticket as soon as I saw it and that was you know before this whole situation so even though I do have you know a credit with Air Canada and will use it when I rebook I just hope that the price is gonna be still around there or just slightly more because that just made me so happy. <laughs> so yeah, what I was initially planning to do starting May 31st was I was gonna go to Estonia, I was gonna go to Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, go to Ukraine, maybe see the more eastern parts since I haven't uh, done that as much. Then I was gonna fly to Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, uh, hopefully get a visa to Russia and kind of do a trip from the south to the north because I, you know, haven't really done that yet. And then from there, from Moscow, I was planning to fly to Tokyo, which is my favorite city in the world, and uh, basically spend the winter months in Southeast Asia countries. So yes, it really breaks my heart that I don't think this year I'm gonna be able to see that much like that was literally a trip of probably 12 countries moving to a new one every two to three weeks and i highly doubt that that's gonna be possible this year anyway so i have had to kind of reframe my expectations of what this year's travel is going to look like and right now from what i know there's literally like three countries that are even open to tourism where you still have to do like a 14-day quarantine which you know isn't the best and most things are still kind of closed so that's the thing I don't think it's really worth it to start this trip right now anyway uh, if I could even get out of here uh, I think I'm gonna stay here in Toronto at least for a couple of months and uh, just kind of get my affairs in order here because I actually have something else that I'm going to be doing here in Toronto in the next couple of months which I'll update you guys on once I kind of have more details but I'm going to put an expiry date on that of uh, July 31st where I'm pretty certain some countries should be open to tourism or at least I hope. Uh, worst case scenario I think I would go back out west maybe out to uh, BC or you know Alberta or Saskatchewan see my parents again but I do have hope that things will be open July 31st so I'll keep you guys updated with uh, you know ticket sales and if you guys have any information about countries that are opening please let me know. As for what kind of content is going to be going up on this channel in the meantime I actually have some interviews that I shot while I I was in Russia that I think you guys would find pretty interesting so I'm gonna do kind of sit-down videos talking about different cultural 
aspects between you know how we live here in the west and life in eastern europe so i think that's going to be my content for at least two to three weeks after this video but if you guys have any suggestions of what kind of content you'd like to see while i'm here in toronto like obviously keep in mind we are under quarantine and not everything is open but i can definitely film some stuff here in toronto as well so if you guys have any video suggestions please put it in the comments but yeah that's basically it for the time being i kind of just wanted to do a quick little check-in in between travel kind of content let you guys know what's up because yeah it's uh it's turning out to be a different year <laughs> than i initially planned and i'm not honestly at all sure what i'm gonna be doing this year but i guess it's one of those situations where you really got to take it one step at a time and uh I'm just gonna hope that it's all gonna work out for the best and we still have some amazing adventures nonetheless. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, love you so much and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys. I don't know